What's good everybody, it's NASA Bringing you another Battlefield 3 Beta Rush video My third video today Heard that right? My third video I put up today So if those sub boxes are broken or messed up or not working or you was watching football Or you too damn lazy to just watch all my videos The link to my previous video is always in the description and then from from there it just goes you know go to my previous video and then the previous video I have a link to the previous video then the previous video I have a video to the previous video it's like inception with my videos so you can literally go through my most current video to my first video if you just keep clicking the links in the description I set it up that way so the people who work the people who have a job people who have families people who have other responsibilities or people who just playing a lot of video games ain't got time to watch other people playing video games when you do find that time, you could go back, watch my video, not have to look for my other one, just click in the description, boom, get my last video. You know, if you want to watch my all my videos of a particular game, I have all my videos in the playlist. So if you're like, damn, I want to watch all NASA's Battlefield 3 beta videos, then hey, go into my Battlefield 3 beta playlist and you can watch all my Battlefield videos, etc, etc, etc. So anyway... This is another Rush gameplay on Operation Metro. Of course it is, because there was nothing else to play in the beta. But, like I said, I think they purposely put Rush as the, uh, as the playable game. Because Rush is kind of the game they really want to push. Like, this game really only has... Well, nah, let me not say that, because it has a lot. It has Team Deathmatch, Squad Team Deathmatch, and all that stuff. But, you know, that's, that's like basic for everything, you know. But Rush is kind of like the other game type that Battlefield wants to push you know they heavily want to push Conquest and Rush you know I think as a matter of fact I think when Bad Company 1 came out there wasn't even no damn Conquest there was only Rush which was blas blasphemous at that time that's why I gave up on the series when they made Bad Company I said I'm never ever playing a Bad Company title ever again this is embarrassing I'm not dealing with it and um and that's how I feel about these games and that's what I try to tell uh, gamers in general, you know, when you like a game or a series, you know, when they mess up the series or you see they're not stepping up to the plate, just leave and find a new game to play. Because if you continue to play their games in the series, nothing will ever get done. I don't think Battlefield 3 would have come out as good as it's looking now if uh, Bad Company uh, 1 didn't be, wasn't so unsuccessful. Because Battlefield 2 actually was, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Bad Company 2 actually was successful. I seen it. Look at this guy cheating. He was doing that the whole game, laying down on the side like that. There's a way you can do it, and I know he was doing it on purpose. But anyway, so but they said they fixed that already. It was it was in the patch notes or whatever. But anyway, so um, but Bad Company 2 did really good. But I think when they put out Bad Company 1, it really shocked them. Like, oh damn, you know, I guess we can't put out anything. You know, they're not gonna go for it. You know, so I think they stepped it up, made Bad Company 2 really good. And then, uh, you know, and then with that, you know, in turn, help them create, you know, what Battlefield 3 is now. And uh, putting out Medal of Honor, which some say was like a beta to this, testing out some stuff. But uh, Medal of Honor had like some great sound. I don't even think the sound in this game is as good as Medal of Honor sound. Um, maybe it is in a retail game, but when I played Medal of Honor on PC, the sound was like, whoa. Like, I couldn't believe how great everything sounds like it was amazing so but anyway uh long story short if you don't like a game stop supporting it because if you support it by even going to a previous game you're still showing that company support so they could care less as long as they still put up them numbers but once those numbers go down that's when you see change so you know put two and two together if you don't like something stand up for it you know but regardless of that so damn what even made me go off on that rant um, uh, Battlefield 3, they made changes, it's this, and I didn't play the previous ones, and, oh, oh, now I remember, I was talking about Rush Mode, so, they put out, I think they put out Rush Mode because they wanted people to see, like, you know, we want to push Rush Mode, because everybody knows Conquest already, 
but they, I, get, I think they wanted players to, to force them into playing rush mode so they could really get a gist of what's going on. Because honestly, when I just played rush mode like by myself for the first time, I'm like, this is whack. I'm never playing this again. But as I played hours upon hours upon hours of rush on the beta, since I was forced to play it, it, st it started sticking with me. I'm like, damn, this is actually kind of fun. It was strategy. It was strategic. I mean, you eventually you learn where people are camping at, where's the spots to rush from, where's the spots to flank from, uh, you know, where their spawns are at, where to defend their spawn, which you'll see me doing a little bit. But it's all these little intricacies that Rush involves that I would have never known had they put... Because if they would have put a Conquest beta, I would never touch Rush mode. I would strictly just play Conquest beta non-stop because conquest is my shit i love conquest but you know now i have you know not love for rush but I have a little bit of you know oh this is cool for rush that I, now i'm willing to try it out so when i get the game on tuesday i'll go into rush i'll play the different maps on rush and see how it plays out and see if i like it i think operation metro actually plays really good on rush mode except for this area which is kind of difficult when they get a good defense set up but if you get in there before the defense is set up it's, it's pretty good. I, I really like how it plays out. Because the third MCOM to me is pretty easy for uh, for attack. But this one is hard as hell for attack. But uh, if you played, you would know that. And I know somebody's going to be like, Yo, I'll be beasting on every MCOM. i am armed six MCOMs a game. Well, you're the best Battlefield player in the world. Pat yourself on the back, sir. You know what I mean? But anyway, oh, another thing that was kind of weird to me is I said I would never post a losing game. And uh, some people said, oh man, what do you mean you were never supposed to lose in game? That's crazy or, or some shit like that. But you got to remember, to me, the objective of any game is to win. I don't never play to kill whore. I don't never kill to boost my stats. I play to win. So to me, losing is nothing to, to, to shine on. I mean, it's not real life. You know, if you play football on a little league team or in high school or college, whatever, and you lose, they say, you know what? It's about playing your hardest, you know, put in the most effort. If that's all you could come out with, hey, you know, it is what it is. But as long as you try your hardest, that's all that matters. But this ain't sports and this ain't real life. This is video games. You play hundreds of games, you know, tens upon tens of games every day. If you play a lot, I know some people play less than that. But you know what I'm saying, you play a lot. So I'm sure you're not losing every game all day long. There's going to be a game that you won throughout the day that you can post. So my thing is, I'd rather see somebody post a game where they go, you know, 20 and 20 and rush and win, or 15 and 25 and rush and win, and you know, contribute to that to that win, than go let's say 40 and 10 and your team lost, and then you're like, hey, well I was beast and I don't know what the rest of my team is doing. No, you wasn't helping out the rest of your team. That's why you went 40 and 10 while everybody else in your team was getting the ass kicked while you was boosting up your stats. So. That's why I said I would never post a losing game. If it came across as kind of the wrong way, I hope that explains it to you. I hope you understand now where I'm coming from. But I play to win, and I try to do usually whatever it takes to win. And in games like this, when I lose, I always try to look back and figure out, like, damn, what could I have done that could have made us win this game or that I could have did better that, you know, that I could have helped contribute to, for, to make us not lose. You know, that's how I look at these games. It's as a learning process. I always try to learn. I'm a, I'm a deep thinker. I know it sounds funny because I'm talking about video games, but even in life, I like to put a lot of thought into stuff. I don't like to just, you know, take shit for face value and just be like, oh, whatever. You know, I can't do it, I can't do it, or, or nothing like that. I like to always try to, to at least know that I tried whatever I can possibly do for whatever the situation is before I decide to just say, you know, I can't do it or it's whack or whatever. So... You know, that's why I want to do that. So, <clears throat> anyway, my thing is to win. I play to win. If you play to boost your stats, that's you. To me, you're making an ass out of yourself. Not me. I play to win. I play to get the victory. To me, that's a good time. Winning is fun to me. Now, I don't like dominating winning. To me, that's boring. Like, if you're playing with a full party pub stomping where it's like no challenge, that I don't like. See, there. I mean, I like winning... But I like the challenge of getting the win. You know, I like working towards the win. I don't like just beating the hell out of people, you know, where it's effortless. You know, to me, that's boring. You know, I don't like I, that. I don't like doing it. Even if it's in the cost of winning, I wouldn't want to win 30 games in a row to scrubs. I'd rather win 
five games in a row to some beast players, you know. But that's me. Like I said, everybody's different. And whenever I say on my channel, it's always my opinion. You know what I mean? When I said I love Homefront, Homefront's a great game. That's my opinion. You know, I know a lot of people don't like Homefront. If not, it would have did better. So when people be like, no, so you're bugging. Homefront sucks. And Homefront, blah, blah, blah. And blah, 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 blah. Yes, I know that. That's your opinion. Of course, that's why you don't like it. If you had my opinion, you'd be agreeing with me. <laughs> I mean, duh. Obviously, that's common sense. But anyway... I finished this game with a score of 50 and 22, playing the objective and getting kills and doing a little bit of everything, but most of all, or most importantly, is helping my team win and get the victory, and that's really all that matters. You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. <laughs> if you don't, what is that? If it doesn't matter to you, then retire. <laughs> That shit was funny, man. Herm Edwards, that's like classic. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, check out my other previous videos in the description. Alright, peace. I'm out.